I was just having a quick look at automation and where I'm up to regarding uh, the layout. For the past month or so, I've been heavily putting a lot of time, as much as I can really, around work, into studying automation and trying to get it to work, etc. And just having a look at different packages. I've, I've had iTrain for quite a while, a standard version plus an upgrade. And it looks nice. Um, there's your feedback block detector there on the right hand side to identify the numbers of what blocks you've got in and then you add them onto the trap plan on the sensors or the blocks, feedback blocks etc for the automation. Now adding points, locos, functions, point addresses etc is really easy on iTrain because you automatically take all the info off the ECOS and it auto uploads onto uh, the software which is great, speeds up the building of a layout and it's really easy to do that part. The part I can't get going is the automation. I'm struggling trying to get anything running in automation. But the rest of it, I can use all the points. I can control all the trains, select all the trains easy. Make a route up. If I press that blue button there. On that station, it selected a particular route. It obviously locks all the points involved. Creates a route. But like I say, I can't... I still not got it going in automation, and it's uh, I will do one day when I just wish someone would do a video on YouTube showing a step by step procedure because I find the instruction manual uh, not very good when it's uh, obviously translated from what German or wherever to English. But the actual whole package of iTrain, I think, is a fantastic package. It's just obviously I'm doing something wrong somewhere. Still not got it going, but like I say, will do one day. So I've got that. I'm also running. Been experiment, experimenting with train controller for the last month or so. And I've been running a demo. I've ran out of the days, you get 30 days to demo it. After that, you can't save it. So up to now, I'm at... Let's just starting up everything. Yeah, so this is Train Controller Gold, which is a, the top of range package, which I've, I've all, just ordered the license for it because I'm happy. I'm happy with this now. I'm going to go for it. Quite expensive. Uh, I'm waiting for the license to arrive on a memory stick from the software developers. You get a license code then, and then you can use it as long as you want until you upgrade it. Yeah, this is, to me, I've got this running quite a lot easier because there's a lot more videos on YouTube showing you how to do this and I must say thanks to all of the YouTubers out there who helped me to get this to get to where I am at the moment there's a few of them out there that have uh, helped me and I much appreciate the help thanks uh, this is my trap plan and it's only uh, pretty basic it's nothing it's all experimental on this but it's got the main stations and the main trap the main main lines and a yard and a small station the big station at the bottom there where i've got some feedbacks and automation platforms on the right hand side is the uh, where you make the schedules up and launch schedules etc on the other screen i've got loco cabs for the locos and the train window and it tells you what schedules are running on there as well so that's really good, That's really you can customise it, you've got your clock, you can have it running in real time or speed it up. That's for your schedules, to say how long a train stays in the platform etc before it moves off again. That's running about three times faster than what it should do. And this is highly customisable. But on this, program, on this particular programme you've got to input all the uh, train uh, addresses, all the uh, train functions, each, and in, each one's got to be inputted individually. Then you've got to obviously profile each engine, uh, speed profile each engine, so it'll stop exactly where it should do on the platform, etc. Regardless of what engine, what type of engine or motors in in the loco, once it's speed profiled, it'll stop. They all stop where they should do. So then you can run any train anywhere around the layout without any problems. Like I said, a good thing about this automation is you, you know you're never going to have any crashes. It's, it's up to now I've not had any crashes running trains or because everything's all set 
multiple things are going on all at the same time which is controlled by a computer which is impossible to do um, with, by yourself so let's get something running oh by the way a detector looks like that and I bought another one this is the second one each one's got 16 inputs so 16 sections of tracks can be monitored or you can have multiple sensors on one particular section of track this is the ECOS one the ESU detector very expensive for what it is but it does it does a lot of things this and it's programmable and it's firmware updatable and it's plug and play so that basically you screw that on the underside of your board give it external power or take the power from the ECOS you've got a plug there you plug that cable which you get in with it into the ECOS and the ECOS can take about four of these without any adapt um, without using any other hardware and yeah that gives the uh, that's the eyes for the automation so the software the computer or software program can see where all your trains are running once you've got a couple of these even with one of these which I'm using now the layout works really well with just one of these detectors so yeah that's what one of them looks like and obviously it takes you isolate a section of track and feed one wire back to this and then this goes the information then goes gets processed at the ECOS command station and then goes through that into the computer into the computer software which is what's happening now so I'm going to start up a few schedules here right I'm going to get some shuttle services going so start three shuttle services start two freight trains um, doo -doo -doo -doo. yep so routes have been set regular trains coming out the gravel yard which is a small freight train slowly moving off that'll build up speed once it gets going it'll do a couple of circuits and come back in to the freight yard where that other one will take over then these are trains are just running on the third inner main line only i'll start picking speed up on this particular sensor that is coming into you now. Yeah, it's starting to move faster now. That's off doing its route. Or fully automatic light, which is good. Yeah, so the goal version of train control will work the likes of these digital cranes with these really once it once you set them up. You can have a, a gravel train come into the that line and that crane will operate using macros and do a simulated unloading etc. Or whatever else you want it to do. You just move around in random ways. This big crane can be automated as well when it comes in. I can have these digital wagons here open back and the loads can be taken out or whatever using that crane. That's a bit of a challenge to do. I don't know whether it'll work or not. And plus the turntable can be automated at some point. Probably do about six lines on here just to try out. That's all going to be fun games. So that one's done one circuit still carrying on it'll do another one and then pull in should start setting a new route soon to come back in there we go just exited this block on the right hand side here and then it's working its way around to the top block here when it gets to this top block it'll set a route as soon as it hits that top block It will set a route back to the main yard automatically and then something else will take over then. So just watch that change.
There we go. It's just hit that marker there and it's set a route back into the gravel yard again. Yeah, so that means the Lint rail car's got a, a clear route to come out now across the main junction without colliding into that other terrain. So that's where the software knows. So you can't have any crashes. Which is great. So that clears that junction there. That goes back to the main station. Then this one parks up and stops somewhere roughly where it started off from, the position. There we go. That one stopped. The other one stopped in the main station and now I've got another DMU lint and I've also got this particular train coming out but that yellow one knows that one's going to cross its route so the yellow one's backing off and basically slow dry down went to a crawling speed because it knows it'll crash if it but obviously if it carries on it'll crash so that one's just holding back in that area or you could have it stopping in that area which it probably will do depending on the situation and that's waiting for that train to get to a certain area probably in the top top block I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen here but the computer program is going to sort something out the red one's moving off but that's hung, hanging on a minute Right, so that freight train, I don't know what's going to happen here, because I've never seen this before. Try to work out a bit of a problem here. Right, so the freight train... It's got to the top block. That's coming to a halt. A load of points have changed around. Oh. That one's coming back out the main station. Of course, I'm not fine tuning these schedules. These are only pretty basic setups, but it just shows you that nothing's crashing into each other yet. That's going back to the small station. That yellow one is probably waiting for a go ahead in the system to cross this junction and work its way out onto the outside line, I think. I'm not sure what's going to happen. We've got a lot of things happening at the moment. I don't know what's going to happen now. I do not know if it's come to a standstill. Ah! Gonna, uh, there we go. The yellow one has got the go ahead to carry on. And this is what I love about it. You know, it's nothing's going to crash. Even though the timings are completely out and it was on a head, head on collision, nothing has crashed because of the way it so works out the routes on the fly so it's adjusted everything on, on the actual while it's moving around it's changed everything slightly around and then it'll go back onto its main schedule again so I've got four scheduled trains running around at the moment that's coming back to the main station that, that yellow one and then the red one's got clearance to move off because the freight train stopped for it Pretty amazing, because I've never tried this before. Because I thought, oh no, things are things are going to go pear shaped, but it hasn't. That yellow one's coming back in. I'm 
that's coming to its destination and stopped the red one sl that did slow down slightly now it's picking up speed again that's going back out into the outside main line and working its way back to the station the freight train at the other end that's probably in a holding position until it's got to go ahead to go I don't know yeah, so that's what how it's looking at the moment that's the linked which is just flashed up red at the top now that freight train's got a go ahead to go now it's got a green light yeah well interested so there's the red one that's the red link coming back in And there's a freight train carrying on with its journey. There was a bit of confusion but it's worked it all out, nothing's crashed. And that's only using basic sensors, there was only one sensor in each block that I got set up for doing this. That's coming out, that red one's come back out of station again because I've only got it on a short turnaround. It'll be interesting to see what happens here. Because that freight train's in the way at the moment. It's on a head-on collision with that. Ah, it stopped. So the red one's slowed down because it knows it's on a head-on collision with the freight train. Pretty interesting, that. It's just come to a crawl and it's actually stopped. So you could have a set of traffic lights there, or sorry, uh, signal lights. Something else is happening there, I don't know what's happening. Let's see what happens. I think that freight train is coming in. Yep, the freight train is coming back into the main yard to where it started from because I only had on a two cycle uh, route. Yeah, so that's coming in, coming to a crawl. Right, so that's stopped, a load of points have changed. The red one has now got clearance. And that's where the demo finishes. But the red, because it's on, I'm on a 15 minute timer. The red one would have worked its way from that point and back in to the, through this junction to the inner main line back to the small station and parts up and then the yellow one which is on obviously still there in the station that would have worked its way back again well that's how it works just thought i'd show that anyway where i'm up to thanks for watching